Hello friends, welcome to my channel Clinical Biochemistry by Dr. P. K. Prahakar. Today I am going to talk about the major difference between the rough endoplasmic reticulum and the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Uh, we know that endoplasmic reticulum is one of the important uh, cell organelles. Uh, so the major difference between these two terminology is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is known for stocking the lipid and protein and it is not associated with the ribosomes as you are going to see this is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum uh, where we don't have any ribosomes on the surface on the surface of this one uh, whereas in case of uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum it is associated with ribosomes so whatever dot like structures you are going to see these are the ribosomes and it also stores the protein now let us learn the difference between the rough and the smooth endoplasmic reticulum in details so the first is the definition. Uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum consists of flattened sacs uh, studded with the protein synthesizing particles called as terminal uh, that is ribosomes on their its outer surface. So that's why it lo looks like uh, rough. So the rough endoplasmic reticulum have ribosomes on their surface. So it looks like rough. Uh, whereas when on, on the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Uh, they have a tubular ves uh, vesicles that lacks ribosomes. So ribosomes are absent on the outer surface and this is normally involved in the synthesis and storage of lipids and protein. Uh, the another, uh, second uh, major difference between the locations. If you will see the rough endoplasmic reticulum, this is mostly found around the nuclear membrane. So it is mainly uh, around or towards the nuclear membrane periphery. Whereas when we are going to see a smooth endoplasmic reticulum, they are found near the cellular membranes, means away from the nuclear membrane. Uh, so uh, near nuclear membranes or in the center, we are going to have rough where the protein synthesis will be there. And when uh, we are going to see towards plasma membrane or away from nucleus, there we are going to have a smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The third difference in their origin. A rough endoplasmic reticulum normally forms from the nuclear membrane and that's why they exist near to the cell nuclear membrane. A smooth muscle cell, uh, a smooth endoplasmic reticulum normally it is formed from the shedding of ribosomes from the rough. So as the ribosomes is uh, endoplasmic reticulum is going to be older. Uh, so initially when it forms, it forms from the nuclear membrane. So it is near the nu nucleus. So if uh, this is the cell. Uh, so near the nucleus we are having rough endoplasmic reticulum as slowly it is going to be older and uh, it is, uh, ribosomes will be shedded from this one so it becomes a smooth and that is towards the plasma membrane and the third major difference in their uh, ribosomes so if you will see uh, on rough endoplasmic reticulum is having ribosomes so obviously they are going to involve in the protein synthesis and the smooth muscle endoplasmic reticulum that is does not have ribosomes on their outer surface so normally they don't synthesize proteins then if you see the structures of the ribosome in both the ribosome and endoplasmic reticulum rough er possess narrow pores uh, below the ribosomes so whatever dot like a structure you are going to see there we are having narrow pores uh, which is all allowing the passage of the newly synthesized polypeptide to the cytosol uh, in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum because they don't synthesize proteins so they are mainly composed of networks of tubules with few cisterni uh, this is the three different types of structure you will see in the endoplasmic reticulum we are having tubular structure that is called as cisterni then we have uh, something a storage like vesicles and then we are having tubules so these three types of structure you will see it in case of a smooth endoplasmic reticulum you can see few cisterni uh, tubules are also involved in the synthesis and storage of lipids. Uh, then, if you'll say uh, in the rough endoplasmic reticulum, they normally consist of mainly cisterni, so they are having mainly tube like structures uh, in the rough endoplasmic reticulum where protein synthesis will be there and few tubules. Whereas in this uh, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, we are having few cisterni and more tubules, more uh, vesicles. Uh, cisterni are involved in the packaging and modification of proteins so where we are having ribosomes they are going to be associated with the protein synthesis they are linked with protein synthesis and so because of this because they synthesize proteins so they are having cist more major cisterni because cisterni is associated with the packaging and modification of protein 
in the smooth endoplasmatic column because they don't have ribosomes so obviously they don't have such pores which is present on the rough endoplasmatic columns for protein transportations uh, one term we are going to use that is called riboforins what is riboforins so these are the dome shaped transmembrane glycoproteins uh, which is present on the ribosome endoplasmic reticulum membrane so this riboforins uh, are present on the surface of rough endoplasmic reticulum and these riboforins are absent on the surface of smooth endoplasmic reticulum these are transmembrane glycoproteins which normally helps in the communication then uh, if you'll see the involvement their functions uh, the rough endoplasmic reticulum involves in the formation of lysosomes whereas the smooth endoplasmic reticulum involves in the formation of spherosomes and oleosomes what is spherosomes and oleosomes spherosomes or spherosomes are or oleosomes are small cell organelles which is associated bonded by a single membrane and which take part in the storage and synthesis of lipid so these smooth muscle cells are involved in the formation of these lipid storage uh, single membrane bond cell organelles bond vesicles and whereas rough endoplasmic reticulum they are involved in the formation of lipo lysosomes uh, if you see their uh, presence uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum is found mainly in the protein synthesizing cells those cells which synthesize more proteins obviously they will have more rough endoplasmic reticulum so these uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum are mainly present in the different glands because they secrete a number of uh, proteins or protein associated compounds or protein producing organs whereas these smooth endoplasmic reticulum because they are mainly associated with lipid formations lipid storage so these uh, found in glycogen lipid and steroid synthesizing cells such as muscle cells and nerve cells then uh, we are going to see the golgi apparatus uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum provides the protein and lipids for the golgi apparatus whereas a smooth endoplasmic reticulum provides the vesicle for the cis phase of golgi apparatus if we'll see the function uh, this rough endoplasmic reticulum have ribosomes so mainly they are associated with the production of modif and modification of protein and their transfer a smooth muscle cells they don't have ribosomes so obviously they are not going to involve in protein synthesis rather they are associated with the lipid and the storage of calcium ions so these are the major difference between the uh, endoplasmic reticulum lastly if you see the disease which is associated with uh, this this endoplasmic reticulum disease like espondylo metaphyseal this uh, plasia that is associated due to the accumulation of misfolded collagen protein into the rough endoplasmic reticulum the disease name is espondylo epimetaphyseal dysplasia whereas in case of a smooth muscle cells prolonged a smooth endoplasmic reticulum stress might result in the development of pro uh, progression of many diseases such as neurogen degenerations atherosclerosis type 2 diabetes liver disease and ultimately even up to cancer it can cause so these are the uh, major difference now if we we'll, uh, go through the api I means uh, other thing that one the uh, major functions if you are can uh, remember if you want to remember it so the rough endoplasmic reticulum or rer looks like uneven surface because on the presence of the mainly in our case hts ribosomes and in case of prokaryote it is 70s ribosomes uh, the main function of this rer rough endoplasmic reticulum is to take part in the protein synthesis and help in the transportation and modifications uh, for the proteins and because transportation means transportation to the other part of the body or other part of the cells it also plays an important role in the manufacturing sorting of the protein transportation of secretory proteins such as antibodies insulin or different other hormones blood clotting proteins blood clotting factors uh, then uh, complement system proteins various extracellular enzymes collagens mucins uh, in many cells like fibroblast goblet cells hepatic cells means many number of cells whereas in case of a smooth muscle cells they don't synthesize they are synthesizing in lipids so these are the major difference between the uh, both of the endoplasmic reticulum so uh, this is summary of rough endoplasmic reticulum 
uh, if you see the rough endoplasmic reticulum is a part of endomembrane system that present in the cytoplasm of the cells the organelle is associated with the synthesis folding modification and transportation of protein to the different organelles within the cells or outside the cells the name rough endoplasmic reticulum given due to the appearance of ribosomes on the surface so it looks like rough it, it is present in both plants and animal cells and it is associated with the nuclear membrane because it is having the it involves in the protein synthesis and you uh, you can also remember that in these cells uh, inside the nucleus we are going to have dna dna to rna synthesis that is through transcription process and as soon as this rna messenger rna comes out of the cells it need to go for protein synthesis so the protein synthetic endoplasmic reticulum should be near to this uh, nuclear membrane so that rna need not to travel too far so that's why it is near to the nuclear membrane it is also usually located near the golgi apparatus and protein synthesized in the uh, ribosomes on rer are packaged into the vesicles and transported to the golgi body rough er is primarily made up of flattened sacs called cisterni and they are having few tubules only the membrane also provides uh, is with an essential protein complex called translocon, uh, which is vital for the translation within the RER. The ribosomes are associated uh, in the inflammatory reticulum with the help of group of proteins called riboforins. Just now we have seen what is riboforin. This is a glycoprotein associated on the rough inflammatory reticulum membrane. The structure of RER is based on the presence of cytoskeleton element like microtubules where changes of microtubules cause changes in the structure of RER. Best, uh, besides the ribosomes present on the rough endoplasmic reticulums often detach themselves and develop into the individual cisterni. Within the lumen of RER, newly formed proteins undergo slight modifications. Uh, so that is called as post-translational modifications. Uh, we are having chemical modification as well as structural modifications like cleavage of signal sequences, glycosylations. Some protein might change their 3D struct conformations within the lumen also. These RER is closely associated with the formation of lysosomes. Rough endoplasmic reticulum also plays a significant role in quality control during the folding of proteins. Sometimes apoptosis is initiated in these cells as a result of the increase in the content of unfolded protein or misfolded protein or the wrongly proteins. RER also contains multiple enzymes that are associated with RNA metabolism that function to bind and modify RNA. Some of the disease also associated with this RER. Then we are going to see uh, a smooth uh, R RER, a smooth ER, SER. This is also a part of endomembrane system that important structures like lipid and cholesterol and phospholipid synthesis is associated with that one the term smooth indicates that there is no ribosomes so its surface looks like a smooth ser is formed from the rough endoplasmic reticulum after the shedding of the ribosomes from the surface a smooth er like rough er found in both animal and plant in human ser is prominent in the cells in the liver that produces steroid hormones SER is mainly composed of tubules. They don't have, they are having very less cisterni. They are having more tubules. It is mostly located near to the cellular membrane, plasma membrane. And these structures are associated with the formation of spheriosomes or oleosomes, which is lipid containing vesicles. The tubular structure of SER is prominent in the muscle and nerve cells in human that forms network with other cells. So these are the, uh, some of the uh, components like muscle cells, the sarcoplasmic reticulum is formed uh, of SER. A smooth ER also has a dynamic structure that gives off new tubules from the sides. The number of SER in a cell depends on its type, location or function of the cells. Muscles and gland cells have the comparatively less number of ER because they are synthesizing more proteins. In the endocrine system, SER are responsible for the synthesis of steroid hormones and uh, from the cholesterol. In the liver, it produces enzymes that catalyzes uh, reaction responsible for the removal of drugs, uh, that is for transformation or biodegradations. SER is thus essential for the detoxification of chemical and removal of wastes. Besides, the SER also contains the enzyme that is glucose 6 -phos uh, enzymes, glucose 6 phosphate, that is important for the conversion of glycogen to glucose. 
and there are also some disease associated with this ser so this is all about the major difference between the rough endoplasmic reticulum a smooth endoplasmic reticulum their structure form functions physiology and everything hope you have understand it if you have any query any comments you can write in the comment box if you have not subscribed my channel you can subscribe uh, my channel and you can press the like bell button so that you will get all the notification on time you can also follow me on various uh, social networking sites thank you very much have a nice day